Okay, everybody, I have a cool game that I want to show you. Uh, it's a dungeon crawling game. It's a game where uh, the deeper you get into the dungeon, uh, it's harder to get to the deeper spots, but the deeper you can get, the better loot you get. Um, points are awarded based on collecting sets of collectibles. If you remember decked out, decked out, you had to collect the, the, the collectibles. He didn't call them that. I forget what he called them that, but those are different sets, common, uncommon, rare and epic or whatever tango had called them i forget but anyways that's what i call them so those are the, the different rarities in the sets if you get all four of a set that's a point and their goal is to get as many points before the end of the season the season will start july 8th it'll run for six weeks it may, maybe july 9th i uh, will see when i can actually get on um, but my goal is july 8th and this video's goal is to show you the basics on how to play relic run bum 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 so here we are at the pit. As you can see, um, I'm going to go step by step on each aspect of the game. Um, the, the major aspects of the game are the collectibles, uh, the relics, and there's some generic rules about um, you know what's expected out of you, you know, as you're playing the dungeon. Um, but the main thing I'm going to talk about, which I think everybody's going to want to know about, is how do you even start the game? You start the game by having a relic run key. But before we even get into having those keys and how you get them, you, if you're interested in playing, need to come to this pit where you see all these cubbies. You need to claim one of these cubbies. This one has not been claimed. Maybe this one could be yours. This is where you're going to display your collectibles. Uh, you can have a total of nine collectibles at any one time. Uh, if you get more than that, you have to turn some in, sorry, or trade them to your friends for other things in the game. Work is still being done on the pit as we record this. So hurry here. If you think you're going to play, grab one of these stands, one of these cubbies, put your name in, and uh, that is where I will deliver your relic keys. I will deliver, I can't figure out exactly how many I'm going to deliver, one per day, three per week, I don't know, there's gonna be a number. But anyways, they're gonna be put into your cubby there as well. So when you're ready to play, you'll come here, you'll get your relic keys, and you'll run the dungeon. All right, when you get your relic run keys, you will come to this area, that little, little black stone stuff behind me, that's the entrance. All right, so this is how you will get into. There's some other descriptions, reminders here, uh, but the most important thing before you put your key in the dropper as you look up here. If these lights are on, that means someone's in the maze or the maze hasn't fully reset itself. There's a lot of redstone shenanigans that even when you're done, it has to reset, wait until these lights are off. If they're off, like they are right now, then come over here, put your key in. But I'm gonna show you what happens if you put the wrong thing in. Well, that's not stackable, so that's not a good example. Let's put the Seed the Clouds in. Seed the Clouds is a good relic. If you put the wrong thing in the dropper and hit the button, nothing happens. It says, I don't know what to do with that. I can't accept that. But if you put the right thing in and hit the button, see, now the door opens and the maze uh, game gets starts. The maze game is started. Hopefully these descriptions help remind you of all those. But remember the most critical thing, look at the lights. If the lights are on, don't go in. Uh, the redstone shenanigans may eat your key and it may not you may not get it back i'm not responsible for lost keys so really look for those to be on before you put your key in and hit the button you'll take your gear off you'll set your spawn uh, the only thing you can take into the maze into the dungeon are relics like this one so i would put all this other stuff away uh, but i'm not running the maze so i'm going to keep it on uh, you will you can take your relics and you can take uh dungeon coins and that's really all right now that I can think of. Oh, there's actually dungeon cookies. You can take dungeon cookies in. But you don't have any to begin with. You have to get those from the maze. Okay. Again, some steps here. Blah, 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 blah. I'll let you read those. When you step over that pressure plate, that is when the game starts. So you have time. And take your time. Stretch. One, two, three. Stretch. One, two, three. Stretch. Whatever you need to do. When you step on that, this door closes. And... The maze begins and if you can hear those witches they're hiding behind this gravel and at 15 minutes they will come get you 
So you have a timer when you're in the dungeon. So the goal of the dungeon is to get collectibles. You get collectibles by pressing black stone buttons. There are 12 black stone buttons hidden within the dungeon. There are many other dungeons, and many other trap doors, and many other flippity flappity doors and stuff like that. Yes, you can interact with all of those. Um, please test them out. Please play around with them. See what you can do. However, the only ones that you really, really need to focus on are the black stone buttons. And if you're wondering, how do the black stone buttons work? I have built this example system uh, just to kind of give you an idea in case you're curious on how the black stone buttons work. Um, the black stone buttons work by having a memory cell. And you can see that this comparator is off. This is off comparator. When you come and find a black stone button, oh, look, I have found a black stone button. What shall I do? All right, you press it. And if you're worried, oh, did I press this one last time I came by here? I don't remember. Just press it again. Press it a million times. Right, right, right. It doesn't matter how many times you press it. This memory cell will only remember one push. So that's kind of a good thing to remember. If you're not sure if you hit that button, go ahead and hit it again. You're fine. In the dungeon, of course. This is just for testing purposes. But once that uh, memory cell says, yep, someone's pressed the button, then keep running. You don't get your loot right away. You'll get all of your loot when you're done with the maze. When you're done with the maze, uh, you'll be back in the spawn room, and I'll show you a second where you'll hit the button. But this is just the example. Practice your skills. You can come up and press these buttons all you want. It remembered. Now I got my loot. My loot happens to be test 01. Oh, good. I wanted test 01. Feel free to hit these buttons on this side as many times as you want. But when you're done with the real maze, uh, let's say you went in there and you found a whole bunch of buttons. This is the button you press right here and you gotta wait you gotta wait about 10 seconds or so it's a slow system but um if you pressed five buttons five blackstone buttons then you should get five things falling out of there uh, this is just to help make sure things don't get lost you don't have to let them land in there you can stand right here if you want um, but that's just to make sure things are are not going crazy okay now you got your loot okay now we ran the dungeon uh we pressed a bunch of buttons uh we got our loot what kind of loot will we get Okay, here we are at the little market. When you get your loot from your run, you will want to visit over here to see what kind of goodies you can exchange and what kind of things you can get. The most valuable thing, of course, are the loot wands. Uh, it's just the stick, obviously, but you know, come on, give me some credit here. The loot wand is what gives you your collectibles. This is the most valuable thing. You want as many of these as you possibly can. Uh, let me actually show you where you put the wrong thing in. Again, this is the same dropper, with a button. You see these all throughout the maze. This is what you do with your relics. This is what you do with your loot wand. I put the wrong thing in. That isn't a loot wand. Yes, and it doesn't know what to do with it. It's fine. You put the right thing in. Okay, well it ate it. Um, and then you gotta wait again. It's kind of a slow system. Ah, oh, there we go. Now I have a collectible. This collectible I can put in my barrel and I can show everybody um, as they, you know, come and look at uh, my items, if they want to trade, I have the the epic. Ooh, it's the it's the rarest of the red rare, right? This is the for the automation set. The other thing I might get from the maze are dungeon coins. Um, so if I get dungeon coins, I can come here and be like, oh, okay, two coins. Anything on this row, two coins. Anything on this row, uh, five coins, and so on. You can figure the rest of this out. Uh, maybe there'll be more barrels. Maybe I will change out the items that are in here. I'm intentionally limiting the types of relics you're going to be able to buy um, as the weeks go on. Maybe I'll have to, you know, push certain ones out and make certain ones cheaper or whatever. I'll, we'll figure that out as the game goes. Uh, but yes, now I got my relic. Uh, maybe now I got this from running the maze. Maybe I got some coins. Um, now I'm doing really, really good. And I didn't, I meant, this is not a relic. This is a collectible. So if we pretend that this barrel over here is mine, um, yay. Um, now I show it so everybody can see it and I leave it. And I only have nine. I'm going to have nine collectibles. All collectibles start with common, uncommon, rare, or epic. And that's how you know you have to show it. You do not have to put your relics in here, just your collectibles. And you do not have to put your keys in here. You can keep those anywhere you want. Uh, but this is where I will put your dungeon keys um, on whatever frequency I decide to make your dungeon keys. Okay. Now, just because there's a lot of people, 
on the server that like to play with puns, I just want to point out something. Um, this is the employee entrance over here, employee storage. This is not, okay, this is not, oh, oh, oh. Yes, it is where we keep our employees. Haha, -ha, it is. See, this is our employees. Thanks to these people for helping me with the game. If they want to come decorate their armor stand, they are more than welcome to. So thanks all these guys and gals and peoples. All right, and that's the real door. Don't go in there. Don't go through there. Mind your own business. All right, well, hopefully this was fun for you. Hopefully you're excited for the game. Um, if you have any questions as you're running the game, you know, feel free to Discord me. Um, I, I do have real life stuff I always have to take care of like everybody else, but I will get back with you as soon as I can. Um, just remember, make sure the light is off before you try to enter the dungeon. I'm not responsible for any lost keys. All right, have fun and hoping to see you in the dungeon. Take care, everybody.